channel. I'm extremely excited today because I'm actually going to be preparing a Nigerian grilled fish. But as Jamaicans, you know, we have to put our twist on things. So I'm actually going to be baking mine. I'm not going to be grilling mine, right? The reason I'm doing it is because Honey has been saying to me of lately that he feels home sick. And I can't have him flying to Nigeria just to get Nigerian food. So I came up with this idea that I need to prepare something here that he can appreciate. But the problem is, I've never done it before. I'm Jamaican. But anyway, that's my cat, guys. That's Cindy trying to be in the video. Anyway, as I was saying, what I'm going to do is get this fish done. I'm going to actually do it behind his back i don't want him to know that i'm doing it and i want to watch his reaction as he eats it so stay tuned i also want him to subscribe please click that like button thanks guys let's go all right guys so i have my fish here um which is cleaned up and dried um i also have my curry powder here i have my fish seasoning I have a um, ginger garlic paste, um, some onions, and some scotch bonnets, which I must tell you came from my farm, which I'll show you one day, as well as I have some chopped up cilantro and um, scallion, which also came from the backyard farm, right? So I'm expecting it to taste extra juicy because it's from the backyard farm. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, this right here, I am going to use this to make a green sauce, right? So you'll see that in a, in a moment. All right. So what I'm going to do now is get this ingredients ready to go into the pot. Remember now, you want to cook on low heat. All right. So I'm going to add my onions now. I'm going to mix this around for a little bit. Alright. I'm going to let that uh, um, cook, cook for a little bit. While this cooks on low heat, I'm going to add a portion of my ginger garlic paste, which I made. Right, so I'm gonna actually list the portions of what I've used below. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna allow that to cook on low heat for another minute. Mmm, that smells great. I love the combination of the onions with the ginger and garlic paste. It's a wonderful um, combination. So, boy, I don't know about you guys, but I love onions, and I just had to go ahead and add some more onions to this tasty mixture right now. So, did add some fresh onions. Um, if it's not, if these onions that I've just added are not like totally caramelized, based on the taste that I like, I'm not, I, I, I don't mind. But some people like all their onions totally caramelized, right? So I'm just going to leave this here for another minute as well. And allow it to just cook down on low heat. Alright guys, so here we have it. This is my um, little mixture here that I am going to add to my sauce in my... Um, pan on the stove so what i have in this is 
my yellow bell peppers red bell peppers and green peppers as well i did go ahead and add um half of a tomato to it as well you can add a real tomatoes or you can use um, a tomato paste if you would like or you don't even have to add that i just really wanted that extra um pop of taste in it so of course i had to add some tomatoes to it i did add some scotch bonnet peppers and i also added cayenne pepper right so it's tasty and spicy so i'm just gonna go ahead now and add this to my um pan on the stove you can blend this in a blender or you can use a um, processor right so i'm just gonna go ahead now and add this Alright guys, so we made a uh, green sauce to um, put on the fish before we actually apply the other pepper sauce. In this green sauce, I did tweak it a bit and added some other ingredients to it just to spruce it up. You know me already, I always have my twist to recipes, right? So, in this I have green peppers, um, yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, I also have um, scallion, and I love cilantro, so I went ahead and I added some cilantro to it, as well as some um, scotch bonnet, and um, lemon juice. I threw all of this into the processor and um, blended it together. I didn't blend it all the way out because I don't really like to have my seasons in a liquid form at all times. Um, so I did blend it partially, as you can see with the texture of it. So with the fish now, I'm going to put some incisions in it. All right, so we're gonna put some slight incisions um, in it as well. So make sure you use a very sharp knife while doing this because you want to get it right the first time right all right so as you already know i'm gonna stuff in between here mm -hmm. Good. Let me just double check these to make sure, you know, they're wide enough. All right. All right. All right, guys. So the next step is to layer it with my pepper sauce. Right? All right. So I'm going to try and use this brush, but I think I'd be way more comfortable with just using my hands all right so i'm just gonna use my hands to get in there so rub this on top of the fish all right of course i'm gonna open my fish up and put some of that pepper sauce inside all right actually put it on the other side of the fish as well mm -hmm. it's just so layered and I mean don't be afraid to use up that sauce don't use it sparingly right put it everywhere on the fish in between the incisions that were made <laughs> This is not necessarily the cutest process, but I can guarantee you this fish is going to be so tasty. It's not the cutest process, but um, it's just going to be tasty. And that's what matters, right? <laughs> that you have a good, tasty 
Nigerian spicy fish. All right. All right. So I believe that's well seasoned. I'm going to get my foil paper ready now and wrap this up. I'm going to put a little butter in my foil paper and I'm going to baste that foil paper with some oil and I'm going to wrap this fish up. All right. So look at this fish juicy all right so i have my i oiled my foil i put some oil on the foil and in jamaica when we roast in a fish we usually put um some butter in there that butter is gonna just add extra flavor to the fish all right so i'm gonna wrap this up now my oven is already preheated um to 350 degrees and i'm gonna leave it in the oven for 35 minutes all right in between of course i'm gonna keep checking it so let's wrap this up mm -hmm. nice and tight i'm gonna seal up everything all right have my fish all wrapped up and in my casserole dish you can decide if you want to put it in a casserole dish in your oven you can do it without or um, you can put it in there I just prefer to do it this way so I'm gonna put this in my oven for at least 35 minutes or until it is well done this is what I'm gonna actually have going with my fish and this is what they usually prepare with the fish. So slice this plantain. Right. Um sometimes we fry it as is, but what I'm gonna do is to cut these slices in half. Right? I think they would look better on the dish if I cut them in half. Voila! And there you have it. This is my Nigerian baked spicy fish. I did put some fried plantains, as I said I would. I did garnish it with some sweet peppers as well and some um, purple onions. To the side, I have extra sauce. In case extra sauce is needed, just to spruce up the taste a bit, right? So it's beautiful. I love how it turned out. Um, it looks yummy. And I think he is going to love it. Mm. It's good? Yes. <laughs> Anything missing? Very good.